What is up guys, just no freaking way here, coming at you today with um, some more Kerbal Space playing gameplay. Now let's just retitle our ship real quickly. Uh, big loop. Ha! Huh? You like? Alright, so basically I'm just going to get this thing into a nice circular orbit, fly through it, we should be good. <laughs> I put on solid fuel thrusters, which I haven't used in like fucking forever. Because, who needs those things? Well, apparently I do. Should be interesting. I can't believe this is actually stable, like, on the pad. It's just, like, this ship is just kooky. It actually flies surprisingly well. I'm, uh... I changed up some settings, so it might be a little bit laggier than normal. Pardon that, no, I kinda, you know... I constantly apologize about the crappy nature of my computer. Even though it's like not that crappy. Like I have a decent computer, it's just this game is just such a beast that it takes up all my CPU. It takes up all the CPUs. I'm trying to spin us around. Oh, we just barely fit inside it. I brought you guys through the loop. There, I hope you enjoyed. Go back around. Oh my god, lag, uh, lag. I need a better computer. I, well, either that or I need to run this thing on a tower instead of just a computer. Or instead of just a laptop. I'm just so used to using my laptop now. I think once we get into space it'll be easier because it won't have to deal with rendering the uh, ground and everything. Won't have to deal with collision detection and all that. <coughs> but uh, typically it's a much smoother takeoff when um, I'm not using fraps or when I'm running it on smaller settings. But hey, whatever. If you guys don't mind the lag, I don't mind it either. If you do, well, then I do mind the lag as well. But uh, my goal today is to get this into a nice stable orbit, fly through the center, and return home. And uh, I tried once before, and I failed miserably at it, and you guys will see in a minute. I'm not going to show you the failed attempt. Hopefully, hopefully I get this one right, and I won't have to bother trying it again. tilting it a little. So yeah, this thing gets like surprisingly a good amount of thrust considering like its weight. It's got a lot of fuel tanks on it and uh, only four engines. Although four engines is, you know, a fair amount. At least I'm not using those spike engines. Those those things would probably lag it up a lot. You know, not like this isn't a lot of lag right now. You know what? We're getting a fair altitude fairly quickly. That's excellent. Ooh. Let's see. What should I make it out to? I'll get it out to 100,000 meters, and then, uh, then we'll start thrusting. Sideways. There you go. I'm not bad. Alright, let's move over sideways. Got to tilt her a little bit. I love when uh, weird ships like this turn out really well. Like, I was concerned because I had a little issues like with this thing on the launch pad to start off because it wasn't very stable. But uh, adding a few structural pylons actually fixed the whole thing. I really gotta apologize for the lag, guys. Now, it would be a really interesting challenge is to like put the ring into a stable orbit and then uh, send up a different ship, a separate ship, to come meet it. And uh, then uh, use that, like, and then use that to go through the loop. That would be awesome. Like, have two, like, two ships in perpendicular orbits, and um, one just passes through the center of this ring. That would be, that would be really awesome. That would take incredible timing. 
in like pretty much perfect orbits. And I don't think I'm that skilled. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm okay at this game. I just don't think I'm that good. Although I'd love to see someone could get like this circle in a perpendicular orbit with a ship and uh, twice every revolution they pass through each other. That would be pretty cool. But nope, this is just getting this into a nice orbit. And then, uh, yeah. Look at these orbits. I don't even remember what this stuff is from. Oh, there's a bunch of parts in there. Hmm. So, you think I should make the orbit 100,000 meters, or you think I should make it higher, like 300,000 meters? Let's just do 100,000, just because it's a, it's a nice good number. Uh, adjust my trajectory though. Like that'll that means I can only time warp to ten. I'm not gonna be doing a full revolution then. There we go. All right, just pass the uh, thing a little bit. I don't know, I find orbital changing is just really fun stuff. Okay, we got that orbit set. Two. There we go. That's a very nice orbit, very close. Actually, if you didn't notice, the uh, periapsis and apoapsis just flipped, and they're off by only a couple hundred meters, which is excellent. Uh, it's not the closest I've ever gotten them, but it's definitely close enough to consider a perfectly stable orbit. Now, I am going to jacked off. Oh, now it's getting pretty laggy, like one frame a second laggy. Like, is it miscalculate one thing and you really, your thing freaks out? Alright, now I gotta do this quickly or else it'll start uh, freaking out on me. Oh, come on! Goddamn lag. Still gotta fly through it.
See, the problem with this is you have to change your you have to change your uh, velocity in relation to the uh, other object and not to space, which you're also going to have to factor in. Alright, so now we're both in a pretty good rotation. I should probably... Getting better. Kind of nervous because uh, this is very nerve wracking. Oh my god, this lag is pissing me off! God damn it! Oh, I got through. Even with the lag, you can suck that. Not you guys, I mean, the computer. Suck on my lag, bitch. I'm proud of that. I just lagged a lot while I did a command, which meant it overdid the command a lot, and I hate that so much. Oh, here it goes. See? See what happens? See what happens? Alright, now you just back thrust the hell out of it and so we can get out of here. What the hell? God damn it, my computer's pissing me off. So you guys see what I have to deal with? See what I have to deal with? God damn it, this is this is what happens when you don't have a, a, a desktop PC to deal with. Just my god damn laptop. Well, we're gonna hit the atmosphere soon, so might as well just leave this tank and uh, save the rest of the fuel for later. For if I come into the atmosphere too quickly and I'm gonna hit the ground too fast, although I doubt it, you rarely do. But uh, I'll call that a success, making it through that arch, making it through the uh, big loop while. Uh, lagging my ass off <coughs> well I'll call that a good accomplishment I don't care I'm proud of that I'll take you know what? I'll take it okay I'll take it I don't lag too hard when I'm coming into the atmosphere because that means that I will uh, have a hard time knowing when I can deploy my parachute or not. Coming fast at these mountains. Maybe I'll deploy the parachute now. I don't care. Whew, that thing flew away quick. See it hit the mountains. Should do that soon. You can think, oh, yeah, there it goes. That's how long it would have taken me to hit the mountains, which is. Pretty quick, all things considered. And there goes my speedometer, thanks to the lag. God damn it. <sighs> or not my speedometer, my altimeter. I hate it. I hate my computer so much, I'm going to have to run it on worse settings. But sheesh, lowish. Come on, hit 500 meters already. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank God. 13 and a half meters? Uh, I don't know, that, that might be a little fast. Getting down to 12. Get down to like 12.6 and I'll feel better. No? Okay. And... Touchdown. Alright, well, at least they didn't die. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the mission. My altimeter is all fucked up. Thanks to the lag, we still got everything done. Here are the end flight statistics.
nothing too fancy. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Just the freaking way out.